All right, in today's awesome adventure, back to the washer again. And if you're following me, I have one video of washer repair already. Today, the symptoms are water leaking down from the bottom. Is it water? It'll leak between the, uh, the washer stand here and the washer, drip down on the floor, big old puddle right here in the front. So last night I turned the water faucet off behind there and this morning I woke up to a completely dry floor. So it's not when it's use, in use, it's when it's just sitting passively here with pressure, water pressure. So I've isolated it, hardened the lighting to this valve right here, this one right here. So take a look at it. And by the way, unplug first. That's for the dryer, the washer. I unplugged already. So if you look closely, the, gl the glistening right there on the, the white looking thing, I believe that's a valve. Daddy, you can see up top here. Oh yeah. See the, the puddle of water up here and it drips to yeah you see it already huh see that drip right there I see a little bit of water there it is again so whatever this thing is it's dripping I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off well, I guess that's a cold water side. Wow. Blue for cold. And I'm tracing it back to the wall and it's to the cold faucet. Nonetheless, I will turn off both valves here. Don't want any more mess in the garage. So, we're looking at replacing this whole unit. It looks fairly simple. It looks like two screws hold on the the back side here. Let me get the light there. All right, unscrew here and one on the other side. Obviously, unscrew the hose. I see water in the and a bunch water. of clamps here. I see water in the water. Pressure clamps, electrical harnesses, and that should do it. All right, let's go shopping online. By the way, I am not in any way affiliated with AppliancePros.com. I've used them in the past before and they've seemed to be reliable. Their website is pretty easy to navigate and you shouldn't have a problem finding this piece. I was in contact with one of the sales reps and I was assured that these are OEM replacement parts. The cheaper alternative would be to buy an aftermarket replacement part on a website such as Amazon. All right, the day has arrived, FedEx has delivered. I got the package here. This is the OEM uh, original equipment um, cold water valve. You can see the part number there. Now the thing with that it was I, uh, I was debating whether or not I should buy an aftermarket piece or original equipment. Now I figure this one ran about 50 bucks, I believe, give or take. Um, off the website that I just showed you, uh, the other options would be to buy kind of cheap knockoffs off of Amazon. If you search the part number that I showed you earlier on Amazon, it'll pop up different options. Um, fraction of the cost, um, I looked at them, they were anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks. I guess you can go ahead and put those in if you decide to go that route and I don't know I mean I don't know how long it's gonna last you're kind of taking a gamble in my opinion so I decided to pay the 50 bucks for the original equipment um, part here and hopefully it lasts me another 10 years because this this set of washer and dryer has lasted about 10 years for me so I'm pretty happy with it um, this repair should go easily and smoothly here we go Let's make sure it looks like the piece 
colors are a little different. This one is black on the top and this one's white. And honestly, I am no professional, but from what I can tell, there's no way you can tell if this is an actual original equipment piece or not. It definitely does look different. I'm kind of skeptical right now, but I'm just gonna go ahead since I have it already and we need the washer. The box is not labeled. It's a pretty generic looking box. And this third piece here, if you take a look, it's kind of angled towards me. This one is angled straight. If you look here, shouldn't affect it though. The harness here should reach no problem because it's got some slack here. All right, we got these three hoses. One, two, and three. On the back side here, you will see these two Phillips screw heads. You're just gonna take those off. Now here's the moment of truth. I read a lot of reviews online. Again, not this particular model, but especially the ones on Amazon where this thread pitch is different from what it came with. Whereas the hose would not fit. Well, let's take a look at our gas. It looks pretty good. All right, let's see if it'll fit. Okay, shoot, this is not working. All right, after wrestling with it for a little bit, it's going on quite easily now. Thank goodness. Connections look good. Electric goes all on. All right, moment of truth. Turn the water back on. Oh, great. Looks like I have a leak here. Great. been about a minute I don't see any leaks anywhere double check your hoses but up here where the problem was with the original unit nice and dry up here all right thanks for watching good luck with your repair